Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Mersey drops $718,000 for John Lennon's piano he used for SGT. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album B. Brian Gallagher for DailyMail.com published, 137 British Summer Time, 21 April 2019, updated, 139 British Summer Time, 21 April 2019 Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Mersey has just picked up a piece of rock and roll history, which cost him close to three quarters of a million dollars. The 59-year-old, whose net worth was estimated at $2.7 billion in October 2018, paid $718,750 for John Lennon's piano which he used on the iconic album SGT. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, according to TMZ, while he didn't discuss the price, Ursay took to Twitter on Saturday morning to confirm that he purchased the piano. His orc piano, Jim Mersey, whose net worth was estimated at $2.7 billion in October 2018, paid $718,750 for John Lennon's piano which he used on the iconic album SGT. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, according to TMZ am elated to now be the steward of John's SGT. Pepper, upright piano, Ursay began, it's a responsibility I take seriously, with future generations in mind, he added, with the hashtags. The piano went up for auction earlier in April by Gotta Have Rock and Roll, with the bidding starting at $575,000. Piano Steward, I'm elated to now be the steward of John's SGT. Pepper, upright piano, Ursay began responsibility, it's a responsibility I'd take seriously, with future generations in mind, he added, with the hashtags. The piano comes from Lennon's Kenwood and Tintenhurst Park Holmes that he used while composing and recording the 1967 album SGT. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band the piano features an engraved gold plate that signifies hit songs such as A Day in the Life, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Good Morning, Good Morning and Being for the Benefit of Mr. It were written on this piano, hit songs, the piano features an engraved gold plate that signifies hit songs such as A Day in the Life, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Good Morning, Good Morning and Being for the Benefit of Mr. Height were written on this piano according to the Gotta Love Rock and Roll website, the piano, dates circa 1872 and is numbered on the wooden frame 4112. Lennon acquired the piano in 1966, and moved the piano from Kenwood to Tinhurst Park, which he purchased with Yoko Ono. Before Lennon gave the piano to a friend in 1971, he had the gold plate attached to the piano. The piano originally sold from a private collection at Sotheby's, London, September 1, 1983, lot 477 Lennon. Lennon acquired the piano in 1966, and moved the piano from Kenwood to Tintenhurst Park, which he purchased with Yoko Ono Vintage Piano, according to the Gotta Love Rock. In Roll website, the piano, dates circa 1872 and is numbered on the wooden frame 4112. Ursay became the youngest owner of an NFL team in history when he inherited the team from his father in 1997. At the age of 37, he has long been a collector of historic musical items, owning the iconic yellow cloud guitar prints used in the 1980s. Ursay previously paid $1 million for Jerry Garcia's custom Tiger guitar, and he also dropped nearly $1 million for the Fender Stratocaster guitar Bob Dylan used at the 1965 Newport Folk Festival. NFL owner, Ursay became the youngest owner of an NFL team in history when he inherited the team from his father in 1997, at the age of 37 music history, he has long been a collector of historic musical items, owning the iconic yellow cloud guitar prints used in the 1980s Let's Block ads. Why?